The night of April 6th to 7th, when Habia Rimana's plane crashed, in the morning, local leaders gave orders that no one should go out. They ordered us all to stay at home. Massacres here at Nyamirabu started on the 7th. In Hirahamwe militia launched their attacks with guns and grenades. We then decided that whoever could had to run into Gishwari forest. Some of us managed to run away and escaped, but others were killed on the spot. There were some who were killed along the way or inside Gishwari forest. Others were killed in the valley trying to cross the border. The first reason is that they remind me friends of my generation and classmates, some of whom were killed in my presence, others were killed elsewhere that I do not know. The other reason is that some members of my family too were killed in that first attack on the 7th. Though I was running, I saw how they killed them. We even tried to come back to bury them in the night. But we could not find them as their bodies were thrown in mass graves or latrines. Since 1994, after the genocide, I encountered many problems. I was in distress every day when I thought about relatives or neighbors that we lost. I had a family of eight people, but none of them survived except me and my sister that you see sitting here. My children are in school, they are in their final year now. Though my relatives were exterminated, I managed to pay school for my children using the piece of land as well as caring for my family. I forgave someone, the one who took part in hunting me. I forgave him and we have reconciled. He's now a friend of mine and pays me visits. Here in Kanzenze, we have achieved unity and reconciliation, and all Gachacha court's cases were completed. But for me in particular, I have forgiven the one who got involved in exterminating my family. We visit each other, we share everything. I even employ him in VIUP works.